Good everyone and welcome back to The Big B. Here with me today I have Inshan Mirjan and we are going to be discussing a continuation on our topic last week of with working within the industry. So a couple of the questions Inshan I have for you, um, having been a specialist in this particular field, is starting a business. Um, what pointers would you give to an individual who's coming into not just animation or programming or game development, but just any type of business um, what are the main points you give them? So, so thanks for um, having me, Brian, um, and thank you for um, the audience looking in on this. Uh, starting a business is an exciting thing. Uh, a lot of people are energized when they hear about starting a business, but starting a business is also something that you have to take with care mm. and you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So the first thing that you need to look at is what problem am I solving? You have to look at the particular industry that you're in or the particular area or um, the particular subsector or the, even the particular value chain and figure out a problem that exists there. So what would normally happen, let's say for example you're a student and you are um, either going to a fast food restaurant or you're looking at what your friends are going through, you might see a particular problem that you have and you might you know, think to yourself, I wish I could have solved this, I wish I could figure this out, right, I wish right. this would save me some time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and, and that means that you have to have a particular skill. The skill I call it problem seeing. In other words, you have the ability to walk into a situation and figure out that there is a problem worth solving. Now that brings you to the next question, solving the problem. Yeah. If you have the ability now to solve that problem, that can earn you a lot of money if you can convert that into a sustainable business model. Okay. So the next thing about solving the problem is, who is this going to help? Who is the market? Um, am I solving it for myself? Am I a 13 year old, a 20 year old, a 40 year old? How many others like me are there? What's my expendable income? What's my demographic? Where am I? Can I afford um, the solution? So therefore it then tells me about market demographics, that there is an uptake. If I create the solution, there is a possibility of somebody buying. And then I want to do a little bit of market testing to say, let me talk to you, Brian. Brian, you know, I have this particular problem and I have this particular solution. Right. Would you pay for that? Um, would it be interesting to you? So more like doing sort of like a survey, see what the what people want and so forth. Exactly. Right. So and you're doing it to people that would be in that peer group or the demographic group. Okay. And then that will give you some data to say, okay, I've, I've seen the problem. I have a potential solution. People like the solution and they may pay X price. Right. From there, you go into the technical parts of having the business. The model is going to be a partnership, limited liability. Where am I going to do the registration? And then you have to pull together the team that will allow you to take that to the next level. I don't know if that helps you. Okay, sure. That's, that's definitely some um, good information to have, especially in this new and common field. Um, <clears throat> so just given a, the brief description that you just gave, um, what would you say would be the main steps that someone should take? Um, let's say go from like let's say the first five steps, the first six steps to actually starting the business and moving forward. Well, starting a business, as I indicated, is exciting, but it also has a lot of difficulties. Right. The first thing you have to figure out is: Am I cut out to do this? Right. Entrepreneurship, um, from the word entrepreneur, which is to undertake risk, which was coined about two hundred years ago means you have to undertake risk. There are returns, but there is risk. What does risk mean? It means that you have to put up your own personal capital, your own personal time, your own personal integrity into the business. Right. You have to do some sort of self-evaluation and ask yourself, can I do this? Now, Harvard did a, a study and it was trying to understand one of the characteristics that most of successful entrepreneurs have. Okay. That characteristic is determination. It means that you have the ability through, through thick and thin, through challenges and through successes to continue going. Right. You have to do a lot of that evaluation first. Otherwise, what you may find is that you would have started during the exciting part of the business. But when it gets difficult, you may yes, give up. It's difficult for you to continue. Right. That's evidenced by 97% of businesses failing within the first five years. Right. And I guess that's where the statistics comes that most businesses, if you don't make it within the first five yes. years, it seemed like you right. Okay, well that was very good, some very insightful information. So I know that was not five, that's one. Yeah. But I think that's the most important thing that you need to do and the rest would be, as I said, problem seeing, problem solving, the business and team. Right.
So once again, um, this is part of the continuation on working with individuals, parents, students and kids who may be slightly concerned about how to get into the industry and how to start a business. So that was some good information from Ma'am Inchon. Hopefully you'll be able to take that further and if any of you are looking at starting your own business, you can come back to this podcast and have some information to move forward. So I hope you enjoyed this episode um, of The Big B and next week we will have further discussions. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section or you can message us on Facebook. Thank you so much and have a good day.